man, turn to Joshua. Take some notes. Your mind, not your behind. I'm already fired up. Your mind is the fountain of youth. Oh, Lisa got her glitter on. Let me try to see that. Her mind, your mind, is the fountain of youth. If you want to age prematurely, have a jacked up mind. Huh? Your body will follow. Your facial expression will follow. Your mind. You can buy all the beauty supply, you can get all the Botox, you can get all kinds of needles injections, but your mind jacked up. It's going to be manifested in your body. You do not have time to receive harsh words or spew how harsh words out over and over again. You got time for that? No. Okay. Amen. Did, 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 did I shut down all verbal abusers yesterday? Sure did. So did. Amen. Did I give anybody being verbally abused a time a, a chance to walk? I so sure did. Amen. Got somebody wiping out your mess, Kevin. And when you want to live, when you want to uh, be Jacob and strengthen yourself, you can't live your head. Because you wasted precious day. And then what I said yesterday, which was profound, find you with that lady. This is what find you something that you look good in. <laughs> Somebody write that down. Yeah. yeah. Fit that back. In. What did I say? Find you a determine, determine what you look good in. I, I ain't talking your birthday suit either. Call it your uniform. That's the whole idea, folks. I got. How many pair of black jeans I got? I think I can't get seven pair. And they all have different. So, well, someone time, let's change clothes. Somebody looked and said, Why do you have letters on the inside? Because those letters represent the length of the jean. I don't know. I don't So, yesterday was a boot jean because that was a boot. I mean, we talking about half gun will travel. <laughs> a boot, that just wasn't a regular cowboy boot. So this is just the same look, like these are bands with a western buckle. Unheard of stuff, right? All that is, it's all uniform. Right. I don't just slap it in there, there's too many enemies. Plus, if I didn't have any enemies, I ain't doing that no way. For myself. Okay, read it again. I don't know what you look good in. Man, I just told Todd, because I, I wore the other, other. go get it, Todd. Show me the other goose. I want the, it's freezing. I got, I literally had a t-shirt on underneath and had my coat over. I was burning up in my car. And this was, it's what, I'm about this, whatever temperature drop, burning up. That's a one-time investment. You can't invest a thousand dollars in yourself. I say, I say to yourself, in yourself, you're gonna be here in Nebraska, right? Sure, you can. One and done. So we got all of them, but you have to, uh, you have to, you have, yeah, break that, yeah. You have to. Uh, you know, I, I, this is the coat I wore. We was freezing that day. You, you can't do this for yourself. Real coyote collar. You can't do that for you. Okay. All that you've been through, ain't nothing but material. You feel me? Yeah. You can't do that for you. Husband and wife. You, you, a couple will stop you just because y'all looking like y'all look. First of all, you ain't going nowhere. You're going to put a couple thousand on your coat. Right. My job is to teach you how to live if you want to live. You don't? You don't get tired of me. It's a point that under man wants to die. Die. So all of us have expiration. Right? What you don't want 
is to finally determine you want to live when it's time to live. Because you don't waste it all that time. That's the beauty of a young, uh, these kids in 20 years will look just like that. Okay? She'll really be thick of one baby here, man. She'll be really be the thick of she's trying to be already. <laughs> Amen. Now, how much hate do you think they'll get 20 years from now and they look like that? Because that's the beauty, that's the beauty of young love. Amen. How many of y'all wish, you know, not to yeah. wish you had never wasted those years yeah. in those days. How many of y'all would go get up if you could get those years back? Yeah. Those old messed up relationships when your brain was sick. You didn't ask God for no mouth. You asked God for a Negro. <laughs> See how I separated into that? <laughs> Give me that Negro. <laughs> She fine. That heifer can't ain't even no good mother. Damn. Thought like she wasn't clean. Throwing napkins all over the place. We ain't talking about the other, the other, the other. Oh. Leaving napkins all over the place. She's talking about she fulfilling scriptures. I'm sorry, you put to pull that up. Get you a bag and dispose of that. Man, I'm in the Holy Ghost already. Y'all ain't seen that now. Huh? Pick it up, chapter four. We're gonna talk about your mind. Then we're gonna talk about those words. I taught it before, but nobody can write this down anyway. Nobody can escape the harvest of their own words. No one. No one can escape the harvest of their own words. What people say to you or say about you, they can't affect you. It may hurt, but it really can't affect you. No one can escape the harvest of their own words. So yesterday I could have shut down all the abusers and I hope somebody critiques you and picks you apart like you pick your husband or wife apart. But that was a killer, wasn't it? Yes. Somebody on your job pick you apart. You can't do nothing right. Mm. No. Let's get into this. Pick it up in verse 13, 11 where he said he was strong. He's going to ask for a mountain, not a Negro. Oh, we're in 13? 14 and 11. When he was strong. As yet I am as strong. <laughs> Joshua as yet, 14, again. As yet I am as strong this day as I was in the day that Moses... And to get your attention, I say that don't mean funky. Thank you. I'm strong. I have my strength. I still have strength of character, strength of mind. How do you stay strong? Do you know a bad brain will weaken you? Your body? You can't get up. You can't move because your mind is sick. Right? That's why you don't, know, that's the danger. My need of, of being in an abu abusive relationship. You laying in bed and the person you laying with makes you sicker. They're literally giving you the flu in your spirit. Hmm. Okay? But everything, everybody's had the flu in the run. Everything out of you, everything that would be great and, 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 and prosperous runs out of you. That's good. So they're giving your spirit the flu. Every idea you throw up, you regurgitate. Because of an abusive relationship. You ought to thank God that God delivered you from an abusive relationship and stay delivered. Amen. Read. As yet, I am as strong this day as I was in the day that Moses sent me as my strength was then, even so is my strength now for war, both to go out and to come in. Now, therefore, give me this mountain. Lord, it is your will. No. <laughs> not, not, not Caleb. Give me this mountain. What you asking God for? 
Not no one time up. Give me this. Because of my words, I want the harvest of my words. Genesis teach you all God does is talk and speak. Yeah. Corinthians says we having the same spirit do like speak. Open your mouth. You can't expect nothing to change if you keep your mouth closed. That's why you don't have time to open your mouth and spew out criticism to over and over. Open your mouth and say, give me this mountain. Me and Quan on the way in. He said, can I help you, Quan? A special speaker. I should have been here 15 years ago. No, Kobe had to be here. <laughs> huh? Said, All right, yeah. I said, yeah, you can, yeah. I tell you what, we're going to go to Dallas and get this Range Rover. She told me the timeline. Don't be mad at her. Said, you don't want nothing. I just want to get home from church. Well, good. Since you asked for that, you'll make it. Your stuff will conk out right when you hit the driveway, all right? That what you asked for. No, we already planning in the future. Yeah. Whoever heard of a, a, a you know, only, no, she's not the manager because she don't want all the responsibility. Uh, the, the, but here, 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 the person waiting on you got a range. Who range over? Please don't park where the people eat. Got to be parked way off somewhere. <laughs> Y'all know I park when I have breakfast. I park way off. Yes. So then one time I get schooled out and these kids start filling up where I park. And this girl parked next to me, and I said, okay, she by herself, cool. Now that other door went over, man, I'm all looking. I can't have straight my arm here. <laughs> Seeing how they open that door. Come on, Ken, you know I got to like it. So then the kid, somebody raised it. He slid out real thin. I'm glad it wasn't no husky person. Just, just, just got to take the door to the pool and see Don't be digging my stuff up. So when, when I, I said, oh man, look at this kid. He slid out real thin, man, like Slim Jim, like, and shut up. I said, oh, come, come, I'm giving some love when he come in here. <laughs> so they came in, I was watching when he came in, but, I, but, I, but, I'm, but I'm getting my paper, I'm getting the body here though, because I felt that I got a pass. <laughs> he said, I'm about scared me half to death. Only black man out there, 160, no Negro, 180. I said, excuse me, <laughs> huh? <laughs> so I want to thank you for the way you opened your door. That was a classy move. Oh, oh, surely, sure. <laughs> you like that? Yeah, I want her to be the same way. Lord, give me a Range Rover. Amen. All right, Watch the you. You're like, I want peace, love, and joy. Yeah, you get that and walk. <laughs> Don't you want to be spiritual? Give me a mountain. That wasn't spiritual. <laughs> that was something he could see, right? You open your mouth and don't let husband and wife touch and agree. Huh? Watch it. But 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 so 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 uh Roman yesterday. I don't need much inspiration to bless myself. Y'all about fell out when I said I have the anniversary of my birthday on the 15th. Y'all are like, he point I'm not playing. And to prove it. Linda come talking about fast on the 15th so her president can keep the government on my fasting on my anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> so I leave, you know, Roman comes around and they got a new baby, right? Roman comes around with some money in his hand. I said, well, oh, you put it on. He said, no, this is for you to put it on whatever you want. That's all the inspiration I needed. Yeah? It's hundred dollars. I took the rest. I took care of the rest. All right, because I'm about living, not watching other people live. And who's to say that? So you, how many of y'all have? Be honest. This is this is not you being fully yourself. How many of y'all have showed enough people love for somebody to bless you? All right. Amen. Somebody gonna give you a house. You know you ain't gonna never leave it, but you. Know, <laughs> I got, I, I had to find time. I got three other properties people done blessed me with. Yeah, I'll find time. You ain't going nowhere. But that may lock you in that house, bro. But how many, I'm going to ask you again, how many of y'all have blessed enough people for people to bless you? Huh? So who's to say, who's to say, well, yeah, you said stuff to have a budget, but who's to say it's going to take all that? Somebody might bless you. Because you have been a blessing to somebody. 
right? You learn to open your mouth and speak. Give me this mountain. Darnetta will pray for Darnetta. Darnetta's mother is, is on the verge of leaving the earth. Uh, the years of abuse survive. But it's based on, I believe it's based on when can, what can Darnetta take? Right. Okay? And so they were taking off the ventilator and they put her back on. So that's where she's at right now. And she put a sad face on it. I said, remember, you know, the seed of, maybe the seed of Abraham has the right. Are y'all ready for this? I'm going to mess you up. The seed of Abraham has the right. Wow. The seed of Abraham has the right to believe God for 25 years. All right. Am I in the Bible? Amen. The seed of Abraham has the right to believe God for 25 years. Uh, that's a good sign. I was just reading what you said. That's a good sign. Uh, nobody can escape the harvest of their own words. Right. Somebody just got said something just low down. Don't worry. All that going to fall right back on them. That's right. They don't even know I'm teaching it. They got stupid, how stupid they are. Send somebody something just, just a lie, just damnable, and don't know I'm teaching their demise right now. The harvest of their own word. Nobody can escape the harvest of their own word. Okay? Read. Where do we leave off at? Now, Where, therefore, um, give me, yeah, start at 12. Now, therefore, give me this mountain, whereof the Lord spake in that day, for thou heardest in that day how the Anakims were there, and that the cities were great and fenced. If so, be the Lord will be with me, then I shall be able to drive them he out. He said, I know there's some giants there. Yes. But they're not bigger than my mind. All right. That's right. I know there's some giants there. That's the Anakim. Write that down. Yeah. Those are the giant people. <laughs> right. Remember when the angel told, lied to God and said, they can come down straight man out. And then they seen the, the, the daughters of the children of men and they seen Serena Williams and they messed up. <laughs> and they like, oh, they were biting their fists like, Dee! Messed up and created the giant. I ain't studying y'all. That's in your Bible. <laughs> That's what happened. They seen Serena. <laughs> I, used to, I, I think I gave you the name a long time ago. Two of them. Like, come on, we we gonna we gonna straighten things out. <laughs> Man, when they seen the shake and the fries, <laughs> we got a giant race. He said, and that the cities were great and fenced. If so be the Lord will be with me, then I shall be able to try. Did he say, is that singular? Then I shall be able to drive them out, as the Lord said. Sure did. Joshua had no choice but to bless him based on his words. Right. Right? Galatians 6. Get that real quick. That's why you won't marry nobody speaking negativity. Galatians 6. Negative person. Uh, even my son Stephen in the military orders come up. Uh, they stand together, husband and wife. What says thou? Together. You know, orders get canceled. And if they don't get canceled, that means God said, All I'm doing is enhancing the love affair. So when all this is over with, you remember 
wanting to see your husband. Man, it, hey, ain't nothing wrong with you investing where you don't sit there and have a long period of time where y'all can't stand each other. So it's all in God's hand. But we're going to open our mouth and speak it. Amen. Amen. Okay. His words. Look at verse 13. Joshua had to give him the harvest of his words. Now some of y'all sitting here regretting the stuff you ask. You say it. You should. <laughs> Galatians 6. I'm going back and forth. For neither they themselves who are circumcised keep the law. Is that chapter 6, 7 through 10? Galatians 6? Yeah. I'll go, you told me another 13. I'm sorry. It's okay. Be not deceived. Be not what? Be not, Be not tricked. Read. God is not mocked. God is not mocked. I told my daughter, when you put, when you, by herself, when you put that toe in the front of that door, 2216 military, God got everything covered. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes. He moving slow. Just like you think when you're in the airplane, it ain't moving. Till you hit that runway and find out you are flying. Right. <laughs> this thing is moving right now. All they did was dig another ditch for themselves. This thing gonna be so quick, it man. Hmm? But thank God. See, see, here's another side to it. She can take it. Look at the devil. That took six years of your life. Now, this is so many. See, I ain't no way I'm going back to that. If I go back to that, I'm going to lose my life. Amen. Man, how many of y'all want to thank God for Amen. When they took it to another level, that level stopped you from returning. That's right. I bet you ain't going to. Yeah. <laughs> Still must cut. I ain't got to <laughs> How many of y'all, when they took it to another level, that level made sure you ain't going back. Amen. They said too much, they did too much. Right. Without that, the sweet talk they went. Especially somebody who been inside of you. Yeah. See, that's a power. Somebody been inside of you. Right. That's why you don't, hey, when, 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 a, when, a, when a couple break up, you don't jump because it, it, I wish it was just sick. It's spirit involved. Sure is. Okay? They can sweet talk their way back. You let that help a clown enough, you don't care if she butt naked. Uh, you get away from man, man. Hey, it goes both ways. You know about women. There are men right. who don't they want a, that helper again. Don't care. She can send negligee to anything you want. I don't want <laughs> someone evil like you. Oh my God. How many of y'all don't want that evil man? I'll make you lie. Don't man. I don't come with roses. You come with rose wine. You come with everything. You come with a rose colored diamond white. I don't care. I'd rather have a swatch on, amen, and be loved than to have a Rolex from a spirit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, somebody lying, y'all. They DMs right now talking about, <laughs> please return your love to me. Uh oh, I had a right note. <laughs> but I stopped because I couldn't. I didn't have to. <laughs> Oh, come on now. Anybody glad they ain't going back? This, uh, this, this man. Amen. Man, told you how they feel about your other kids. Yeah. Out of their mouth. Yeah. So, let's find it in the Bible. So, find where God is not mocked except that person. <laughs> you can't. You're not going to find it. Huh? Yeah, you know. God is not mocked. Even that police officer that tried to make my life hell look like ain't nothing happened. That was 2004. But remember, God got a different kind of a watch on. Huh? Every now and then, I said, God, remember him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Remember. See, y'all understand? God a slow walk folk. That's when Proverbs come in. Just when they least expect. Just when they think they're rolling. When they're falling out of control. 
just when they think they Sam Kennison and got the love of their life and, th and God don't forgot all the stuff they said about speaking in tongues and holiness and man don't you ever mess with nobody mandated it's a rap amen anytime you put your tongue in the art of the covenant God is the Luke Shell Olaf he is the champion of the world do you know everybody who's trying to stop great apostolic and pastor Barlow amen have failed and gonna continue to alright now I know you're right None of them live better than any even close. One of them had to pray for his sister because she got cancer right there in the farmhouse. Wow. Huh. Hard to get healed when you leave the place of healing. Yes, sir. So y'all think I'm hard, hard to get healed. That's right. Huh? Yes. Healing was there, but you left. Right. <laughs> like God didn't know you was going to get sick. But you left healing. Huh. Opening your mouth. Yeah. That's why I tell men, you always criticize your wife, putting her down, whatever. You killing your own nerve. If you do get divorced, don't nobody want you. Because it's really not her, it's you. You are happy with yourself. Come on, teach that. And why shouldn't you be? You didn't trust God. Amen. You got to lay out before God with snot and tears and find out what his will is. And that's the bad. That's what I for divine providence. Amen. Divine providence trumps human will. Anytime you see somebody overly critical, they are angry at themselves. Because when you, when you, when you, when you go in my car right now, it's a nice jazz on. I ain't mad at nobody. <laughs> my house toasty. <laughs> My house toast, y'all. Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> my garage toasty. I wrote a check for $10,000. I could get through the bottom. $10,000 to an $80. I ain't mad at nobody. Mm -hmm. Had to get up early and write, take my wife out. Look, look, he don't want to buy. See, I told y'all she's cheap. She don't put no battery in the car. Look, you got to go get you a battery. <laughs> I don't want to do your job twice. <laughs> Without no soundtrack. Ronnie. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Your stuff ain't fine right now. Huh? Huh? Could have got her fired if somebody would have like this. Yeah, I could have went with a Hellcat one time and dropped off in a Range Rover. She might not have a job tomorrow. I don't know. <laughs> well, we are here to get you a battery. This, um, you know? You know? <laughs> you know? It's two days in a row. It's three in a row. <laughs> Get them early tomorrow. They gotta have a car there at six. All right. Then they, then it, 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 it's five fifteen. She round house down in the. You know, maybe people are in draws all the time. You're in the draw. Yeah. Well, you ain't ready yet. Come on, now. <laughs> this ain't for me. This is for you. Where your clothes at? <laughs> Messing up my routine. Oh, I'm on coyote. I don't got my uniform on. Oh, it gets worse. When you come here, y'all, make sure y'all laugh here like y'all always laugh at me. <laughs> and then I get to the dealership first. Here she comes. So I'm like, okay, I'm, you know, all right. I see her run out, and there's another, I'm in the Range Rover. There's another black Jeep. I said, that look like her. She's trying to climb in this Jeep. <laughs> I've been working. I said, uh-huh. I 
thing. You remember that when I got to go to the airport with no sound tracks. I don't never say bye. Ain't no use, ain't no use messing up my day. My point is, and I wrote it. We don't wake up. Yes, we got 41 years, but we don't wake up beating each other down. Because I'm not trying to reap that harvest. Does that help somebody? I ain't trying to get that harvest. Right. Hey Amen. I don't need that. Yeah. What good is getting another thousand dollar coat if I'm sick? <laughs> I ain't trying to get that harvest. God ain't playing. Yeah. What that man sent you to do your sin to me is coming by. It might come on him in his sleep. It's coming. And thank God, this time you ain't returning. You're going to stay in the house of God, pick your mandate up, and do God's will. And you're going to tell somebody else, don't ever pick up another spirit. If the man of God makes you mad, and just say amen, but don't. It cost me six years. I cannot get it back. Amen. Your case was different. I sent you back because that man ain't never been past it. He didn't even make it back to Florida. Hung himself. <laughs> yeah. Now how he up there booed up with somebody. Mm -hmm. God, that's why you bless your child. God got your child. Yeah. yeah. But all those harsh words didn't want to be sweet and think you can't stay away for a financial reason. Being in Maylene's house broke with your purple bicycle is better than being down there, amen, dealing with a spirit who can't take his mama and all his other women. Come on now. You know it is. Here's why you get away. I don't want to be around when you reap the harvest of your words. All right. <laughs> well, I want to be the one to take care of you when everything you say lands back on you. Let that other woman change your diaper. Ooh. Ooh, I'm preaching hard, y'all. Let that other man prophesy. Right. Yes, sir. Wheel your wheelchair around. Right. I want somebody healthy, amen, that love God, amen. I don't feel like running out of gas making frequent trips to the hospital because your harvest is going to land. And I can't take it back. Kill your own nurse. Because you're unhappy with yourself. I try to tell you, spend time with God. Ain't no way in the world you can spend time with God and be mad at the world. Amen. Amen. It's impossible. It's impossible. When have God said, look, I want you to go cuss everybody out now. <laughs> I want you to cuss everybody out. Would you go to the job, slam doors, whatever, ball everybody out? Uh, God ain't never said that. No, sir. Why are people angry with themselves? Because unfulfilled, feel like something in life passed them by. Okay? Always looking through the window step of, instead of stepping in. Living by faith. Always window shopping. Okay? Not taking advantage of doors that open. Always making excuses. No, why well, here's the killer. No self-control. Sometimes you can say so much, I'm sorry, don't even mean nothing no more. Yes, sir. Yes. This word. Can he come back on you? Man, man. Nothing. She done cut me in half those green eyes. Like I'm bleeding, y'all. Nothing. Huh? I'm sorry. How many you get tired of hearing I'm sorry? You, you, you got the sorry part right. Watch this now. But not because some of y'all so religious. You're sorry. I accept your apology. I still don't want to be with you. I'm not mad at you. I just don't want to be with you. I don't care if you piss diamond rings. 
Keep that on the podcast. I don't want to be with you. First of all, you're going to be hurt if you do. All right. <laughs> and that's another bill I don't want. <laughs> now, here's the other side of that. To carry yourself and have the love of God and put the triangle, up, baby. To have the love of God where you don't attract what was in me, low self that attracted that kind of spirit. That's right. That's right. Why could not could I not leave with an open door? Invisible fencing like a dog. Wasn't even a fence, and a dog won't even leave the yard. Ooh, man. Man, I'm trying to raise a nut. Now, I, you know, this 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 is a this is basically breach for me putting up my hand on your stomach trying to. But I want to raise a generation of Emma's and Tinkers that if you raise your voice, you dismiss. All right. Man, you don't talk to me that way. Hey, huh? That's right. Huh? The minute a girl grab on a Col- well, I get my mom's crazy. A Kobe or a Jackson, you gonna be with me, man? Here come Quanta out the range. <laughs> You know your mama thug, don't you? <laughs> You're not sure? Hold that thought. <laughs> Let some chick scratch your face and you'll see. All right, man. <laughs> Be a range poured all up into the school cafeteria. <laughs> Amen. I don't want that harvest. But you don't understand. I ain't trying. This ain't understanding class. This is Bible class. I ain't trying to understand. I can recognize a sick. Watch this. I'm gonna mess up. I can recognize a sick brain because I didn't had one. I want to thank God for being well tonight. Amen. I'm gonna say it again in English. I can recognize a sick brain because I had. Wait till the person you brutalize it tell you they divorcing you. Today. That'll help you. I'd rather be in a shelter than to be with a spirit. Ooh, quiet. Keep reading Galatians. Cause that, man, that, that, that man just did man. Ooh. You should thank God. Have a child by that spirit. Thank God for the child. The crazy mama. Always be always beat those other relatives. No man, I care less. Amen. Always. See somebody slipping a plate under the door? Rico, run, man. That's right. <laughs> Rico run. Tell <laughs> Rico be Rico is a great man, y'all. And he gonna love again and live again. You can't yeah. be around me, man. All right now. I don't care how many bad habits you had, there's a good one out there. Right. <laughs> he do good, but man, he come here be cleaning the church and everything. Yeah. Can you imagine someone help her tip it over the waste basket? Every time he cleans, he kick over the waste basket, put some more dirt down. Oh Lord. Run Rincola. Have a seat, Miss Angola. Man, that man, that what a hair. Man, that girl look good, y'all. Okay. That man, that. She got a perfect head. Yes, she does. See, some of us got golf courses and stuff. We can't do that. <laughs> Read. Read. We can't do that. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth. Whatever a man, man or woman soweth. That shall he also reap. What? Reap. Here's a, here's a, here's a killer. Some people are only alive today to reap. Well, the only life's alive, they're going to reap. And you know what? It's brutal when they done forgot. They done done so much and said so much, they done forgot. Man, I want to thank God that tomorrow morning, the last day of the year, ain't reaping day for me. It said, now, it's good. There's good reaping, too. How about I flip it? The old, I'm alive to reap the harvest that I have sown, the people that I have blessed. Amen. Thank God. So I don't want to be the other way around. Amen. 
Ain't nobody getting away with nothing. Okay? There's even a way to break up. Oh, yeah. yeah I remember, I sat in Bible class for seven hours with Bishop Reed. You got to tear nobody down. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. You can tear nobody down? Mm -mm. All in front of the kids? People crazy, boy. They act like the Bible don't exist. You know what'll stop you from hollering? Lung cancer. Mm. I like that simple answer. That's how people holler. That go for husband and wife. Always in the morning. That's how we know it's a devil because he's the son of the morning. Mm -hmm. Anytime by morning, by nine o'clock, your whole day is ready. It ain't nobody but you. Man, I got my amen with me and my bad shoes. Damn. Read. For he that soweth. How you get that lotion back? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna get you because you know I ain't no hypocrite. You get that lotion? All right, all right. That's my girl. Y'all know that is. That's, that's my black Friday mama. I can't have her ass up. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get you. Oh, hey, they get me too. If I come in here crusty. <laughs> Read. Somebody was rubbing on that. Of all people talking about somebody crusty. <laughs> Even sweet Byron came and said, look, I can't have my pastor with knuckles. <laughs> Read. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh. He that do what? Soweth to the flesh. You always criticize and beat somebody down? That's not the spirit of God. Anybody ever have a supervisor do you that way? Everything you do? Man. Man, <laughs> yeah, that's why you don't have a job. That was on your record. You got up out of there. Can you imagine living with somebody like that? I use my beautiful young girl. I talk about y'all all over the place. Now he just got back. Can you imagine? That's why they weren't at church. Sunday. They were at church, but they weren't at this church. Can you imagine her using that time? Look at that. Look, you, look, you ain't shy no more. You. <laughs> That virginity gone, baby. You might as well smile with other grown folks. <laughs> You've been hating. She's going to be outside. Hey, no, it's over with, baby. But could you imagine her using that time? Where you been? Why did you FaceTime me? What's her name? Good looking kids, y'all. Could you imagine him? Huh? Uh, I called you at man, you sick old. I called you at 916. You weren't there. Everybody ain't laughing. Got time for that. Your husband working, you accusing him of folk because you got a little self esteem. Quit eating hamburgers late at night. <laughs> man, I'm mad. You mad at everybody on the keto diet and you got chips and dip, dried chips. Everybody on the keto, you angry at. Got a half a burger in your car right now, frozen. That you gonna fall out. Yeah, right. Oh man at work. There's a man taking care of you. Huh? You accusing him. There's somebody waiting for you to come home. You are here. Well, why, why? I called you, man. You are a sick person. Who you really angry at is yourself. If you don't repent, you're going to get played. Then you're going to want the whole church to fix it. We can't fix the harvest of your words. Can I say that again in English? Every time, oh, can we want to pray for brother so and so, we want to pray for so and so. Stop. This is what you don't know. Did the, did the white mess up that couple in love in the church? Did everybody know? 
First Timothy, I'm going to use the same scripture, First Timothy chapter 5, verse 20. This is a warning right now. Get some peace and love in your house. What's First Timothy chapter 5, verse 20? Them that sin. Them that do what? Sin. Uh, uh, uh. Well, Dwight did was fornication, adultery. But you sitting there beating down somebody is sin. It's verbal abuse. You beat your husband down. That's verbal abuse. <laughs> First of all, it's too many women without a husband for you to beat a good man down. <laughs> You're going to mess yourself up. I'm going to tell the next man who think you sweet. Here, help a man. You better run. <laughs> run, Forrest, run. <laughs> man, you like that crazy help him? Man, you crazy. Go down to rehab and can you get something better than that? At least they know they sick. Go to rehab. You want that abusive man? Remember what I talked about yesterday? The girl literally was becoming bald-headed in the center of her head, dealing with that nut. And everybody who got with him has suffered because he's sick. Now he is really sick on Facebook. Losing weight. Uh, uh, you sick for real. Now you're in the harvest of your word. All those innocent women who you beat down, now all that is manifested in your body. It's bad when you can't get well because you have said so many damnable things. Healing cannot enter your own body. In order for God to heal you, he got to go against his own word. Wow. As far as that, what you just sent me, that man told you, as long as you're in the house of God, it's a good day. Amen. That's better than you being outside the wheel. Huh? And you become the part, a part of his harvest. I swear y'all think people gonna get away. Shelly B, we, we, I told one of my daughters about a pastor. He didn't get away. He was a pastor. Nobody gets away. He a boot up with that woman for 20 years. Because his wife couldn't drive, am I right, Glenda? Couldn't move, booed up, had people babysitting while they was going out, all that old slick stuff. And if you failed God, you would even have the capital to put somebody down. You still trying to pay that off. Ooh, Lord. You know what capital is, huh? Capital is what you need to keep your business going. 20 years booed up. <laughs> Why the wife can't drive, can't hunt him down. Like for real booed up. Like sitting in the same booth, like hugged up. <laughs> then, and the wife was 10 years older. And she died. Oh, here come the clear way. We're getting away with what we've already been doing. Ooh, no you're not. Ten years older, she dies. Ninety days later, they're going to make the announcement. Me and Sister Song are going to get married. You think? Ran smack into some word. Had a big, was going to have a wedding bigger than Kate's. And they got, they got limitless money. Out of all these years, you're going to have a man like you walk with God. Now watch this. Now. I'm going to help some of y'all. Let's say he admired this woman. Man, if admiration gets you killed, it's a whole bunch of dead folk. All right? <laughs> That's just life. You're always going to find somebody better than your companion in some aspects. Yeah. All right? I ain't studying y'all, you fake people. Yeah. You know, I'm not sure if anybody in here. You want to try it? No. Thank you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Right? So if the wife died, it says the death to depart, right? But you can't have something in no layaway. Booed up. And thank God ain't got vision. Right. When he see everything naked every day. 
just when they thought they was going. Remember, remember, I know where I was at when the phone call came. The day, even when they were planning, they were planning according to God's wrath. Because God timed it. The day they were supposed to walk down the aisle, we got away with it. He died that day. He's supposed to walk down the aisle the silver and he died the day he's supposed to walk down the aisle. God left no doubt. This is the hand of God. That's right. Yep. That happened in this city. That's right. God had to use yours truly to deliver the verdict. Because sure. I wasn't going. Right. Can't nothing happen to sister ball and I move somebody in that house and they downstairs and I'm up there because I'm going downstairs. Right. Ain't that some nonsense? Yeah. Ain't no two sets of rules. One for the pastor and one for the member. It's one set of rules. It's the word of God. Amen. Y'all hear that? Yeah. Ain't no double set of rules. I was like, how are you going? I said, yes, you woke me at 1 o'clock in the morning. Here you are. And I'm going to tell you what to say. Right. And I sit next to her dad. He was all telling jokes. I had to make sure I was clean because he was looking at my shoes. He was looking at my shoes. Okay. I bet you hear what I got to say. And the way it was set up, I'm trying to help you because y'all, see, you can quote scriptures and yet don't believe the Bible. Because you think you are exempt from the word of God. You, you know why I have the record I have? Because I'm not exempt from the Come word on. of God. Amen. If anything, I got a greater chance of going to hell than anybody in this church. Amen. Don't ever think you exempt from Yay. Yes. Come on, man. See, when you Woo. exempt, like the man of the Lord, he thought he was exempt. He gonna send a love text and send it to the pastor. <laughs> That's real sloppy. Uh -huh. They gonna talk about I, uh, 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 that wasn't for you. I. <laughs> hey God, that's sloppy. Yeah, go. I just delivered a verdict. Yes. And the way it was supposed to go, the way they set it up, I had seniority, so it was supposed to be the most senior person. But everybody wanted to tell the joke, so they all jumped in front of me, so I let them go. Just, that's the way God set it up. Yes, I had to be the last voice. Come on now. So people that, that I, was, I was going senior then all jumped up and they saying stuff. And man, I feel like Mike Tyson with no socks on. Bring the truth. Bring that truth. Get all your jokes out. That's right. Man, get all your jokes out. Yes, sir. And they just said that. Gonna go sit there and brush over sin. Yeah. I ain't gonna tell no joke. I said, mother, ooh, I said, the mother, this mother was the only one who God signed off on. That's right. While the girlfriend was, the girlfriend got up in the pool pit, even told him to the face. He was sick, he was upstairs, and I was downstairs, and we got, that's yeah. sloppy. <laughs> Sure did. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's sloppy. Yep. No, man, you're supposed to follow me as I follow Christ. You ain't supposed to be sprung on me, right. and I ain't doing right in your face. Right. That stink. There's some good word tonight. You didn't know that. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, it is. If you don't receive it, then your pipe burst when you get home. Now nah, everybody saying amen. Thank you. Yes, I receive. I receive. <laughs> huh? <laughs> That's the only woman God signed up for. And I said, you can't forge your signature. So they took the rehearsal ceremony and said it was the wedding. <laughs> Here's one for you. I'm going to really mess your theology up. So when they presented, because everything went into probate, like everything, I think they draws went into probate, like everything went into probate. I heard, I didn't inquire, somebody told me that she won the case. How many of you know she didn't win nothing? No. Left holiness, mm -hmm. 
these people are killing married to these women who said that. That'd be like if I fell dead and Sister Barlow leave this church. Ain't that some crazy stuff when she was there when the church started? Right. How you leave? That's how you know you got another agenda. How you walk away? Right. You so hard on us on Tuesday. That's in case, amen, somewhere down the line, God bless you, and you sit there and throw the middle finger up in God's face. Amen. Somebody thank God for hard work so you can remember you ain't supposed to leave the church your husband died for. Right. Come on now. Whatever. And you got to get out of the way for another first lady. Man, I teach it right. And if you treated folk right, they would still love you and give you honor and respect. If you had your little group, they'll put you out. Yeah. I, I, I had to live with one of those women that got put, they put her to the curb. Mm, that's why she was mad. That's why she tried to run the church and meddle in my life. Because when she, she got put out. <laughs> Nobody is exempt. Mm -hmm. That man died the day he's supposed to. Here's the rest of the story. Another man of God. See, your human will can make you think you this word don't pertain to you. Yeah. Another man of God. His son said, call him and for six hours. Said, man, you know that ain't right. You ain't got no scripture to do that. And he finally said, I can't let her go. Now play, play, play with human will. Satan will make you think you have the right, you have the green light to go out there and get yourself killed. And there you go, running through a green light. Anybody, and everybody here got a mind of rebellion that they've had to fight in order to have time and grace. I don't care, the best member, me, sister, pastor, everybody here has had the unplugged rebellion. Come on now. Got to. You ain't got me fool. You ain't always had sweet thoughts and accepted everything I said. I'm saying it and I can't have it. <laughs> I always love everything you say. You lie, you mad now, you salty now. <laughs> I'd rather hear from God than break me. Uh, Amen. Uh, that's, that's the thing. The folks been in church, I remember we seen some stuff. Yeah. Man. How many of y'all secretly really have scared of God? Woo! Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Don't go ahead on with your bad self. He'll show you. He might, he might prove to you tonight. No, Lord. I remember I put my brakes on. I forget what car was in. And I see it. Through a light, and I saw a car coming. You know, I four wheel drive don't be nothing on ice. You know that? Right. <laughs> and I'm sliding, and I'm looking. Wait. Nothing. Here's one for you. One time, 72nd and Dodge, killer intersection. I went through a red light in a smart car. <laughs> You know, that's a, that's, a, that's a scrape a person out the car. Just bury the car in the cast. Right. In a right. smart car. Right. Got right in the middle and said, what are you doing? It's red. I know you're tired of hearing about the deer story, but no. here we go again. I mean, a 2019 Mercedes convertible. That's a miracle right there. Come on. And the deer could care less. Because he showed up and I'm doing 80 miles an hour. How can I see his face and he not hit me? That's right. On my left side. Because yeah. I was not supposed to reap the harvest yeah. Yeah. of that ram. I wasn't yeah. sneaking. Yeah. I ain't got no girls yeah. here. Hey. Yeah. I'm going to mess with y'all. How many of y'all glad mind fights on the elimination? No more. <laughs> Ain't no use. 
Might as well don't get the Hennessy tonight. I don't even drink. <laughs> but just go get a bottle to show I'm out the wheel. <laughs> I don't even drink. Amen. The dear, the God of physics. Yes. Inner. And the way, so God, when that man of God tried to tell the other man of God, you cannot, there's no just six hours. How many of y'all know the fact it lasted that long he was gone? Yeah. I ain't going to be here six hours to prove nothing. I'm going to meet with Angela. I thought I saw her coming in. Mm -hmm. She want to be a mother of the church, but she's too young. I don't even hug right. her. I just piss <laughs> bump her. Who in the hell told you to give up on life? <laughs> you talk, man, all those people putting money in your pocket and stuff. I don't care. That's why they love me. I tell them the truth. <laughs> I hug all the mothers. I fist bump her. Like, don't even hugging me. You ain't no mama in the church. You better get you some high heel, get rid of support stocking and switch. <laughs> I don't be playing with her. I don't care about your, I, I don't even say, I care that you made a mistake by coming to this church and think you're going to die in front of me. That's your biggest mistake. All right. Huh? I, 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 I talk to her, I'm done. Good. You think you're exempt? Let's find out. I know I ain't exempt. I got to line up. That's right. Amen. At this level, I'm trying to close the show. <laughs> now, if, I want, if God want me to close the show in a rose phantom, don't you get bad. <laughs> you couldn't be saved with a Hyundai. I can with a rose. Right? <laughs> now, whose fault is that? <laughs> a rose phantom. Hey, that can't be. You know what I'm looking at. A rose phantom would not stop me from serving God. I still would be here. Right. Instead of finding myself a hundred dollars, I think I'd find myself a thousand dollars. I'd make sure I'd be here like three hours early. <laughs> this is stuff that show beats that messes somebody just sent a saint of God. Mm -hmm. See, when they wrote it, and, and now I got it too, that was recorded by the recording angel of every generation. Right. So if they got a spot on their lung right now, it won't be like fire the doctor gonna miss it. They can have, they have people thank God as a little boy. He's not a, he is the God of the universe. Amen. The Bible says that God only looks at man because of Israel. Amen. I was the rabbi. There's an angel over Israel, which is the size of Rhode Island. We are in the United States. God, amen, looks at us because of the love we have for his people. Thank God, amen, for the opportunity, the revelation of Jesus' name. There ain't no three gods. I know y'all ain't convinced. Don't matter. You ought to thank God, amen, for the opportunity to live the best life, to be in his will, to be a man of God, a woman of God. Amen. Are you chopping everybody's head off? In front of your kids. But just because folk don't say nothing don't mean they ain't hurt. Right, right. Yeah. It'd be just like God. It could be flat on your back. And he send you a text of all your words. <laughs> all your harsh statements. apart after you done messed up can you hear Satan whistling hear demon 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 come on out come on out in your feelings okay he said come on on how you feel don't nobody understand mm -hmm. bishop don't understand right You know God is telling you out of your feelings. Wow. That's why God let you back. You see? 
ego tells us, don't let your feelings. Because you may not get back like I got back. What a price. The price was not worth it. You know, if you don't repent, that's what many people say out there quiet. Embarrassment. Ain't nothing wrong with being wrong and getting right. That's right. I, ain't nothing wrong. <laughs> Y'all like that? Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with being wrong and getting right. Amen. I ain't been wrong, but got right. Amen. <laughs> ain't nothing wrong. I write it through both hands. Amen. Ain't nothing wrong with being wrong. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, but what are what people gonna say? Like when I pull out in Z Lo 2, that's what I named this Z Lo 2. If I pull out, hey, hey, it's too cold for you to follow me home. <laughs> I don't care what you think. That's like, I don't have voice, man. You can't call. <laughs> call the church name, tell me how you feel. Call the church phone. Are you gonna hear the services? <laughs> Somebody answer that. Brenda. What you got it for? Um, because I had to have one. You don't get me told, you, your kids, anybody that thinks they know you. I don't answer. I don't know one year I made. I think I'm up to a hundred missed messages. I don't know. And I don't feel bad about it. I got a job to do. Amen. This saved somebody's life. Amen. Somebody gonna look at their brain. I got a husband and wife holding hands right now. We are not going to sit there with a new baby and fill each other with harsh words. Amen. Because God can, all God got to do is take something you both made and he can bind y'all together. Oh, we don't, you don't want to be bound like that. You don't want to be bound like that. Bishop Reed said he, when his son died, he went to the bathroom and his wife was already there crying. I rather hear a word from Pastor Barlow. Get mad. Go build you a sandwich when you get home. You, you don't die. I eat it away. Get you some chips, dip, break wind, fart. Get it out of you. Don't get you a pimple. Eat all the chocolate. You can feel a little pimple growing with a heartbeat. All the chocolate. Get it out of you. Hey. Read, I'm about done, man. I'm to Try to save people. Mm -hmm. My heart goes out to the wife. This is easy. What he's dealing with, that's hard. That'd be like one of my key men in love with some sister in the church. We got to pray for him, man. That's, that's, that was the God, y'all. In love with some sister in the church. She married too. Now you got a husband and wife. They sitting in man. Thank God for grace apostolic. Thank God for truth. Thank God for people that love God. Everybody got marriage talk, but thank God ain't nobody trying to scoop up. That's because of what? She's like, it's because the man of God opens the door for that spirit. The man of God. The difference is, I have Sister Barbara, he has no wife to restore. How long was that? At least an hour and a half he cut that man's head off? That hour and a half is probably equivalent to about a few months of his life. Because you got to get it out the church. Or if you don't, if you don't get that, somebody else will be looking across the now, if they try to be slipping on blood, he didn't cut the people's heads off. He don't put them both out, and he pronounced death on one of them. He can't take that back. He can't do that recklessly. Y'all know that, right? You, so one, some of y'all remind me. Shelly, me just got a photograph. Remind me of stuff. I said I forget. I forget about because I really ain't trying. I'm really. I'm too into me to be absorbed into you. So I forget stuff. I say for real. Only time, I, only time it comes back to my mind is if you're tripping with somebody else. 
then all of a sudden it's like I get downloaded with everything you did. Like my head get the itch. I'm like, where'd that come from? Other than that, I don't think about it. Because you, you, you want to unload that. You're not up here to destroy people. You're up here to destroy spirit, but not people. You understand? I understand. It, 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 it's, a, it's a hard job that you don't want if you ain't called to do. That's why I have such a disdain for those apostles and apostles, prophets. Man, they are playing people. I know this one dude, I thought you don't even have a wife to be a pastor. That kind of happens. You're going to always see somebody better than her. Why did he miss that? Miss it because you get full of yourself. Because it's a, it's a, it's a, I live by faith. I live well by faith. But you, you, you. It's self deception to think you're called when God don't even know your phone number. Because you know, it's mainly it's it's hard. See, I mentioned stuff to get a rise out of folks. I want to know how they feel. You know, ain't no telling what I get. You know, I just it is what it is. Uh, but if I got everything my heart desires, that does not compare to the crushing it took to get up in front of you. You don't believe that, but I care less. That's why I have any imagine. Ask my son, he's here. I look at the craziest stuff. I always look at stuff. I bought a coat, a thousand dollar coat this morning, four in the morning. Because Roman inspired me with a hundred dollars. Roman gave me a hundred. I took care of the rest. I was just, I felt that was the leading of the Lord. <laughs> he said, Roman, he's right here. I said, Roman, what is this? He said, no. He said, put it on something else that you want. Well, I did. <laughs> Obedience is better than what? Fuck that poor can of the goose again. I believe a shipment came in overnight. Show enough, show enough. Overnight. For Roman. Roman inspired me. But it don't matter. I can have anything. I can live anything. It don't compare to the crushing. First of all, I don't have nobody talk to me like I talk to y'all. I got overwhelmed. Now, I'm really a... I should be in a mental institution. I could have lost my voice, everything. I'm, I'm that emotional. So I recognize me. I'm, oh, man. You're kidding me. A natural born runner. If I got gas in my car, I'm out. I don't put up with nothing. I had to be crushed with a full tank of gas. Then it went to a full bank account. I ain't going nowhere. I'm natural born runner. That's what happened when you leave home when you're 17. I don't put up with nothing. I don't bother nobody. I am self centered. You need to know that. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no use us guessing. <laughs> you you gonna get one right answer, you gonna get that one. <laughs> Self-centered, self-absorbed, nothing materially made is too good for me. That's why I spend your money. Don't be faking, because we get to that store and your car gonna go through. I'm walking away. <laughs> I don't ask my sister. I left her in Saxon Avenue like I didn't know her. It went by her car. She just got smart. I left her in Fort Worth like I didn't know her. Even now, I'm, her, I'm younger than her. She'll say, I'm like, you call me twice today. Like, come on, boy, you gotta call me twice. Call me once. <laughs> now, my sister love me. I love my sister. So I'm like, I'm like, hey, uh, you talking like she this. She said something? She's gonna be there. She's taking time. Hey, look, look, I've been up trying to get somebody out of the car battery. I'm sleepy. I'm tired. <laughs> look, I need to lay down. All right, quick. You know what really just wipes me out? The crush. Yeah. The 
I didn't want to do this. Right. Yeah. No, I can't get that. It's a crushing. It's a crushing. I'll give you, I was up, I was praying. I was very young. And I ended up under the bed. I just recently, I want to switch up. I just recently finally got from up under that bed. All right. And sat on it. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. self-righteous who think they can quote scriptures and want to do this. Who's that trying to call me now? Now, I want to talk to you. I told you. be in place so this man can come from my city and get the love of his life. I had to be in place. Me and her daddy come from the same. I had to be in place to catch him in his backslid state so he could marry her mama who came down the aisle, amen, so that she could be sitting there. I had to catch Simona because there were two girls coming. Amen. I had to be there for Tracy who had been known to be with a teenager so that Trey, amen, could be in the sanctuary and run into a kitty because his mama... A uh, May Lee, a man who was with a band who wasn't going to be saved, had to get told to marry a mic because we were running out of time, amen. All of this had to be a fucking Cam Ferguson was coming by Bergina, who ain't even here no more, amen. Lisa has got to get a key that she's going to lose her life. I mean, all of it, but somebody had to be crying so that a crystal who can run into a KT. <laughs> Watching us support Jane. My wife thinks Dante's her other son. He don't know what he's doing. A brandy's coming. She's sleeping in a car. <sighs> oh, I just locked up in this. You tripping. You tripping. Glenda has to heal so that Candace will come, so a Lexico can come from Florida because there's a Dadrian who's gifted but he's emotional. He has to love your mom. Who put that puzzle together? Here come an Angelique because her brother told her. She comes here and heard it, and now she's a dead mother to the next generation. Oh, come on. Together. There's a fire book who's called Church of God in Christ, but she got cancer in her body. She gotta have a house of God so that the doctor will find the cancer cell behind the nipple. Who put that puzzle together? Oh, 
Never head bow. Here comes a Cynthia with a hematoma in the middle of her head from abuse. <laughs> 